We're not Big Time Rush. We're not in sync. We're not a boy band. We are. DSTN! Este, de, esse, te, ene. As usual, I'm Devin Clark. And I'm emotionally unstable. Boys basketball has really been turning it on, winning their last three games and improving the 6 and 3 record, and remain in second place in the D9 league behind Elk County. They host Bald Eagle area on Saturday. Girls basketball has also been racking in the W's as of lately, moving up to a 6 and 5 record. They travel to Indiana tonight and host Bald Eagle area on Saturday. Good luck, ladies. Congratulations on the competitive cheerleading squad for qualifying to states this past weekend. They took 7th place out of 11 teams and competed for District 9. They have a competition this weekend in Red Bank, and then they head to states next weekend. Good luck, girls, and keep those pom-poms mighty. The wrestling team had a tough loss to Brookville this week, and they're heading to the Belfont Invitational this weekend. Good luck, guys. The gymnastics squad has gone off to a good start, and they're still looking tough. They traveled to the Moon Township Invitational this weekend. Good luck, ladies. Varsity rifle team beat Northern Cambria this past week. Isaac Whitaker racked in a top score of 278, and Maddie Lee right behind with a 276. They both posted uh, best scores, um, and freshman Rachel Sprague posted her personal best of 260. They will be back in action with a home match on January 21st against Northern Cambria at the Dubois Rifle and Pistol Club. Good luck. Swimming has been doing well on personal bests, especially at Clearfield this past weekend. Keep it up. And now it's time for our very exciting Dubois basketball segment. Let's go. I am here with Michael Finksler, senior for the Dubois Area Basketball Squad. One of two only seniors, Cole Kreiner, we're going to be talking to him for a little bit. But as of right now, Michael, how is the senior basketball season going for you? Pretty good so far. Uh, we're 6-3, and three, and we just had a big win recently over Bradford and Central Mountain. So. Yep, great. And uh, hopefully the tide's going to be keep rolling there. Um, what do, um, just um, from coming from you, what do you like to do? Um, how do you like to prepare your game and uh, do things for your team to get a W? Well, I personally like to pass. I prefer to let them score and have the team win rather than me be selfish and take away the points from everyone else. I'll tell you what, Michael, and I, you know, and I knew that I didn't even have to ask you, but the folks need to hear it. So, Michael, we're going to be looking forward to the games coming up, and uh, good luck to you. Thank you.
champion, Doug Champion. How do you feel? Uh, I feel great. I'd just like to thank my mom. And uh, yeah, I, I, I had fun beating these guys. And uh, the big man upstairs, so. That's all we got for you guys today. Oh. Attention Ski Club, the weather for your posted date tomorrow will be 30 to 35 degrees, so dress warm. The bus leaves at 12.30, don't be late, the bus does not wait. 85% uh, of the slopes are open, so get ready to shred. And uh, we need a big student section for the basketball game this Saturday, and it's it's cold outside. I know you guys ain't got nothing better to do, so come support the boys' basketball team, and we're gonna get a little rowdy. Woo! As for Woo! as for DSGM, Woo! Devin Clark. This is my boy Branson. Have a good day.